Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Annie Faye. For those of you that don't know me, for those of you that do, hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. Look what came in the mail yesterday. I've been waiting so patiently so I could film an unboxing with you guys. So let's open her up and find out what I actually got during the Sephora sale. Got my handy dandy little pink box cutter. So satisfying. Also, how do we feel about this little lilac look I'm doing on the eyes? I keep getting called out on TikTok for always doing a soft glam eye. So today I was like, you know what? Let me switch it up. I just filmed it and posted it on TikTok actually, if you wanna see a little tutorial. If you don't have TikTok, I will be repurposing it as a YouTube shorts pretty soon. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Also, just a quick side note, I do have another order on the way. I forgot a couple of things and also some of the things I wanted were sold out, but now they're back in stock. I don't even know. Let's get into what's in here. Ooh, okay. I was so confused by what this was. This is the Glossier perfume. Very interesting packaging. Did not expect this. Ooh, it's been so long since I've smelled this. Wow, that's good. It just reminds me of something. I don't even know. I love it though. It smells so good. I'm gonna put it back in here so I can also un unbox it for TikTok. The Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette. I did actually end up getting this because I posted my what's in my cart video on here and on TikTok and you guys went crazy in the comments. Everyone was like, you need this palette. You need." There was only like one or two people. I think in each comment section that were like, no, it's not worth it. Everyone else was like, I have so many neutral palettes, but this is the best one that you need it. Okay, why can't I open this? Oh, she's dirty. Did something break in here? Please no. Focus, focus. See, can you see the dirt or eyeshadow, I guess? I mean, yeah, it's definitely not like the best condition I've ever seen, but that's okay, nothing's broken. Let me show you. <gasps> Gorgeous. I'm disappointed because why is it like, it's just like messy, you know what I mean? Like they're just, I don't know. Let's see though how it is for pigment. I mean, seems pretty pigmented though. Honestly, I'll just have to use it to tell. I just wish it wasn't like a mess. Am I being dramatic? It's possible. I do have a flair for the dramatic. Okay, and then I also got a refill of the Fenty Skin Hydrovisor because I've already got, you know what, it's somewhere here on my little skincare thing. But I just got the little refill. That's what that looks like. I love this stuff. I've probably repurchased this like five times, possibly more. Um, and I actually haven't used it in a while because I was like trying to make other SPFs work, but this is honestly just the easiest because it is like a moisturizer and an SPF and it doesn't break me out and it looks good under makeup. It's just perfect. I keep getting whiffs of the Glossier U. Oh, it's so good. Ooh, look at her. This is the House Labs blush that I was trying so hard to resist. Everyone in the comments was like, you need this blush. Like, I don't think a single person said not to get this. Also, I asked you guys if I should get the Dragon Fruit Days shade or the Pinello Peach. Literally, like 99.9% .9 of you guys said to get the peach. So I got the peach. Oh, that's beautiful packaging. Oh, let's open her up. No, that is gorgeous. Should we put some on? I'm wearing so much blush already, but do I not have a single clean brush brush? What, blush brush, what's going on? Okay. Oh yeah, definitely pigmented. So pretty, the shade is beautiful too. I'm gonna save this cheek for the little TikTok demo. A lot of my life is just filming the same thing twice. Oh, this seems like such a small order because I usually go crazy, but I made a promise with myself this year that I would be responsible and not like buy unnecessary purchases. Okay, here is a refill of the one size, you know, just classic. This is pretty much full, I just opened this. But like I said, I always need a backup of this. I did see on the site that they have like the deal, two of them for $51 Canadian. But then when you go to open it, it says this product isn't available. So I'm gonna keep looking out on the website because if that pops up, that's such a good deal. I think this was like 42 for one, and then two for 51 is literally an amazing deal. So you guys keep looking out for that. I'm gonna keep looking out for that. 
If you see it back in stock, let me know. I also got the Color Wow Raise the Root Spray. I'm so excited to try this. It's actually hair wash day tomorrow. It's supposed to be today. My hair is disgusting. But as you can see, I've just slicked her back into little ponies. But yeah, I'm gonna try this out tomorrow. Maybe I'll film something. But usually I like to like see how a product works before I film using it. I don't like love a first impressions, especially when it's something like this where like you kind of ha have to like figure out how to use it. Do you know what I mean? I also got the Say Do blush and I picked up the shade Rosy. Everyone was saying to get this shade Chili. Apparently it's just like a beautiful pink shade. But you guys know I just love a pink like this. Like a light pink, like a very natural flush color. You know what I mean? I think this would actually look really good with the house labs. Oh yeah, that is going to be a gorgeous combo. Actually, maybe tomorrow I'll film like using all the new stuff I got. Never mind, that's not really fun. So much of this is a restock and then there's only like three new things. But I am really excited to try this. The formula is beautiful and I just know this shade is gonna be perfection. And that's actually everything. I know it was a little small one today, but I'm just becoming responsible, what can I say? Let me show you guys what I have on the way as well, I guess. So I got a, I got another one of this because when I went to go place my order, it was sold out. But then the next day it was back in stock. So I was like, okay, cause I'm running low. Like I know I'm gonna be repurchasing this anyway. I might as well get it during the sale. I'm also waiting on a First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Collagen Cream. I kind of put off buying it cause I was like, okay, I know it's in my room somewhere. It actually is. Like I didn't finish it. Like I still have a full jar, but I can't find it anywhere. Where is it? Like, I just don't understand what happened here. That's on the way as well, but I just wanted to film this. But I just wanted to film my little haul and get that up ASAP for you guys. And that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It helps me out a lot. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. Let me know if I should place some last minute orders. What are your favorite purchases from Sephora? If you like this vibe, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, love you.